you like to be paycheck number 70? Paycheck number 70 don't sound bad, you know what I mean? After you find out that I already connected 69 paychecks to people's pockets. Listen, I don't know if you know who I am, but look, today is a great day to get to know me, you feel me? My name is Kion Church. I'm your in-home healthcare guy. What do I do? I help financially challenge family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. Now, look, today is a very special day. You know what I mean? Now, if you was getting a check, today could be a special day for you. But what I like to say is a special day for me is uh, uh, these W-2s. You know what I mean? At the end of every um, calendar year... We get all the W-2s back from payroll, and then we got to mail them out to the people who, you know, worked hard all year. Now, today is a special day because I'm mailing all of them out. Now, I don't know if y'all be really realizing, but, like, if you down with Reliable Aid, man, you, you probably going to get paid. I mean, I don't know who else be doing it like this, man. It's a lot of companies, and they be talking about, you know, how they share the wealth and how many people's lives they touched and all that kind of stuff. I don't really know where they doing it, and I don't know, you know, how they doing it because all I know is we helping people. You know what I mean? Now, look, if you're here with me in the live, as always, hashtag live. If you're here with me in the rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. Now, listen, today is a very special day, very special day. I found out yesterday through FedEx, I'm going to show it to you, through FedEx that we got 69 W-2s going out. You know what I'm saying? 69. 69. Now, that number may not be resonating to you right just yet, but once I tell you that, I was able to help 69 different families during the year of 2022 to help bring some income into the house, man, you'll know that that's, that's really, really, really very special. You know what I mean? Now, I tell everybody every day, why would I do something like that? Why, why would we even try to help so many people? Because I believe that every family should not have to struggle, you know what I mean, just to, you know, be able to maintain. If you going out of your way, helping your mother, your father, your loved one, you shouldn't have to be broke trying to do it. You understand what I'm saying? It should be some kind of reward for you on earth. They, they on me too. They texting me. They calling me. It should be some kind of reward on this earth for you for doing such a great job with the people that you love. You know what I mean? Now, if you're in the Medicaid long-term health care program or your family member is, we're going to connect the paycheck to your pocket. That's going to be your reward. You know, I had a person um, recently tell me, you know, it wasn't recently, but it was in the, in the near recent, you know, past. Tell me, oh, KC, all you do is brag. All you do is brag on the internet about people that you help. I said, listen, how many people have you helped? You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for person number 70 to help. I helped 69 people last year. Now, if you don't think that that's hardcore, that really is saying a lot. Like, this program that we've been banking on so heavily to help out the families is working. It's working, man. And if you don't think that it's good to put a little money in your pocket or to help your friend or your neighbor or your loved one put some money in their pocket, man. I don't know what planet you're living on, man. You know what I'm saying? We doing these good things so we can help get our blessings, man. And if you ain't blessing nobody else, then blessings not going to come around, man. It's a universal law thing. You know what I mean? You got to be doing it right. You know, you got to be doing it right. Look, hashtag live if you hear with me in a live. Hashtag rebroadcast if you hear me in a rebroadcast. What's going on, Cousin Kelly? How you doing today? Look, they wore me out today, babe. I got up early after I talked to you. I had to go to a doctor's appointment. They've been having me running ever since. Came home, got the news. Got the news yesterday, really. We helped out 69 families last year. If y'all just tuning in, if you think 69 paychecks to people, you know, who needed it is a good thing, hashtag payday. All right. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Very awesome thing. Very awesome thing. Just to share with y'all, you know, because I'm tell you, my favorite kind of person is the person who's already doing the work. They're already taking care of their loved one, their family member. They already, you know, they're already doing everything they got to do. You know, nobody had to tell me, look, you're going to have to stay home this morning and help your father get up, you know, put his shoes on, uh, uh, 
fix him some breakfast. Uh, you know, nobody had to tell me all that because I already knew that. You know what I'm saying? Now, what would have helped is a little paycheck. You know what I mean? Somebody connecting that paycheck to my pocket saying, look, man, you did an excellent job. Let me reward you. Now, that's, that's the kicker. But listen, we was able to do that with a bunch of people, man. So I feel really good. I feel really good about that. Just got off the phone with a case manager and she was saying, Casey, I got a lady who, uh, who's going to be on the service. We want to get her with your company, you know, in uh, the beginning of the month, which is only like a couple days away. And she was asking me, you know, do you have anybody that you can help, you know, send her over to the house and, you know, get her straight? I told her, look, I can probably find her some help, but I can't guarantee it. You know, I can't guarantee it. Look, the government's giving away all kind of money right now. A lot of people don't want to come to work. It's hard to really find a big-hearted caregiver right now, 2022. I'm going to let you know because there's so much free money and, 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 and stuff going on. It's really hard to put it together. You know, I try to tell them, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help this lady as much as possible. But our real help comes in when I can help a family member who's already in the household already doing a job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help this lady find somebody in her family who's already taking care of her, who would enjoy a paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Who would enjoy a paycheck? Now, you got to be crazy if you wouldn't enjoy a paycheck. You know what I mean? I don't care what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Because I love to get paid, for real. All right? So, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to keep it short with you today. I'm going to go through this one, two, three step on how to get in Medicaid in case you already taking care of your loved one, in case they're already in the Medicaid long-term health care plan. All they have to do, number one, is... Submit an application to LTSS. Now, that's real easy. Submit that application. I'm going to give you the phone number. If you're in Delaware, the Medicaid Central Intake phone number is 866-940-8963. Now, once that's done, they're going to ask you for your financial eligibility. All right? Now, you submit the application. There's a couple back things that's going to go on in the background that you don't even know about. First of all, they're going to contact your doctor. They're going to ask your doctor. They're going to say, yo, do church belong in this program? Would this program benefit him? Doctor going to say yes. Next thing you know, they're going to talk to you about your financial eligibility. Now, this is the one thing that you got to know that they ain't even realize. You good. You already in Medicaid. So you passed the financial eligibility to get into the program. Trust me what I'm saying. It's going to go sweet for you. All right. Now, step number three, the easiest step, the easiest step. You already had your, uh, your, uh, your, your medical eligibility. They let you in on that. Doc said, yeah, he good. You know what I mean? Then number two, they ask you about your financial status. Ain't nothing changed, so you great. All right, next thing is the interview. They're going to come talk to you. They're going to say, yo, uh, what, are you, what are you looking to get out of this? You're going to say, look, my needs have changed. You know, I need a little help around the house. I'm looking to get an aid every day. You know what I mean? I found this good company called Reliable Aid, Inc. Mr. KC said uh, he connecting paychecks to the pocket, and we need you. You know what I mean? Set us up so we can get a, ca uh, a paid caregiver. All right? That's all you got to do. One, two, three, you in, you in. Now, if you are at that point or you need a little help getting to that point, sometimes people's applications get lost. I seen it all the time. You know, sometimes you, you got a, 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 a person that's, that's on your financial eligibility and they not moving fast. You know, you might get a nurse. You, that, that letter might have got stuck with that medical eligibility letter might have got stuck between the nurse and the doctor. And you like, look, KC, I did everything I need to do. I need a little help. That's when you call me. Call me, 302-689-3240. You get on top of me with the phone calls. I get on top of the case manager with the work. Yo, what's going on? Uh, this lady would like our services, and, um, you know, we need to get this thing moving ASAP. You know what I'm saying? We want to get a paid caregiver in her life. You know what I mean? Look, so if that's you and you want to be number 70, I'm going to tell you like Bob Barker told the people, you know what I mean, for 40 years. Come on down, baby. We got you. We got you. So, look. We're going to clap it up for you. If you was one of the people who got one of them 69 paychecks last year, you know what I mean? We also going to clap it up for you if you can see the future and you like, look, I'm getting with KC, man, because he connecting the paychecks to the pockets. Word. So, look, call me. I'm going to put you right on the register. You know what I mean? You and your loved one, we'd love to sign you up and help you out. All right? 302-689-3240. If you happen to be watching this in another, um, in another form of, uh, you know, you know, we all over the we all over the web. 
If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you hit the button and you can be with me live every time I go live. If you're on other forums, you know, uh, 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 we got podcasts. Make sure you're downloading all the episodes. Download every episode you can, especially the ones with the titles that you like, because that's where I'm talking to you about the things that you need. You know what I'm saying? Look, Miss uh, Miss Ludia, she'll drop the podcast link on you. Now, if you're uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you uh, hit the notification, you know, whatever it is on there. They got a lot of good stuff on there, too. But make sure you're with me. You know what I mean? You're the smartest person I know. I'm telling you. And you know why? Because you're here with me all the time. You're learning all the ins and outs. We're going to put that paycheck in your pocket, all right? Look, I love you. If you're one of the 69 people, I definitely love you. All you need to do is let your family members and your friends know, because you know some other people that's going through the same kind of situation. You know some people that we can help, all right? Hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast. Hashtag paycheck. Do what you got to do, baby. Hit me up. Let's get it going. I love you. Take it easy.